All right, so I promise I'm not a hoarder, but it's starting to look like, um, like one for real. But just getting around to getting my tools um, on box. Most of those are just blow molded cases sitting on the floor just for me to gauge what I have. I will say um, I probably have three or four tools that are like the same in there. Um, but cardboard boxes that I'm gonna recycle, donate, um, whatever. Oil, all my wash stuff, some of those uh, chemical guy stuff for the the buckets, blower with the hose, some liquid. Um, up top, Milwaukee light, a little funnel buddy thing. I believe that's what it's called. Dewalt compressor, my Bronic compressor, spring compressor is on the ground, and somehow I'm missing the. The second vertical piece so i gotta find that because yeah i got to start it installing it and i was like it's definitely missing the piece so there's that um i think i'm gonna i might end up getting another pair of lockers um i do like the lockers i'm wondering if i can get all like a couple of these slide out drawers or something maybe uh they sell them separate so i can just have one locker with just those slide out things. Kind of wish those shelf, they kind of slid out because then I can get to the stuff in the back easier. But just all fluids right now. Definitely not organized, um, but I will say that at the bottom there is more so cleaning stuff and the top is the middle was service and then all the excess stuff I threw up top, which is a mixture of cleaning and service fluids. Um, extra rag in this DeWalt thing, DeWalt buffer. Uh, quick jack um, lifts for the Tacoma gloves this Lucas whatever thing leaks like hell like I'm honestly tempted to throw it out but it's really annoying it leaks like hell I don't know um, steam cleaner uh, this locker is filled with blow molded cases that I was just started throwing in there with no rhyme or reason um, all my manuals are up there Service manual again. Um, they call this uh, Harbor Freight Daytona wheel dollies, I believe they're called. Yeah, they're called. My wash vacuum with my Ryobi small pressure washer. My uh, Mueller Kebs table, rolling tray table, whatever you want to call that thing. Um, yep. So I got to reassemble that thing. I don't know. You call this thing again. Anyway, this Tracton, I might be incorrect, but it's one of the first things I assembled today just so I can have somewhere to sit. But the kids are always playing on it, so there goes that. Um, we'll just name a few brands that I have here. So this is what Tool Guy, Sonics, SK, SB Tools, um, PowerTech, which is like a UK brand. Dent Fix, uh, what am I seeing? Mueller Kebs, Astro, SP. There's a Mako in the red case right there. Probably the only Mako I have. Erwin, uh, Mueller Kebs. That's my engine support stand. Laser tools, your standard um, lug thing there. Cross, whatever. You got Robin Air, uh, Motivex. Something I'm excited about. I've had this for a few months now. Um, the Speed Smoke High, Low and High Pressure Diagnostic Leak Locator from uh, Redline Detection. Um, haven't seen anyone talk about that, so um, I picked it up. Definitely wasn't cheap, but it definitely wasn't the most expensive that I've seen it advertised for, so I picked it up for what it was. Um, so I got that guy. Like I said, I have it for a few months now. I haven't used it. I have the older one, um, which is really not old. It's just older when compared to this. So um, I might do a review on this at some point in time. All these miscellaneous like bibs and bobs. Um, OEM oil thing, um, which I haven't used. I, I think it's slightly too high for my application because um, I only have quick jacks and the quick jack lift and the 
jack stands with you know standard jack so definitely doesn't go that high so i might modify it take the wheels off or something to just get it lower uh what else do i have here ambus um scotch bright dura goal um sand and stuff sand and blocks um i mean you can see all the mess up here um Kind of talked about some of the cases that you probably if you've seen my video you're familiar with found them most of the lights that i have um they're all magnetic so that's great they stick there some drill bits some pliers i really something that i really like well there's something i think i'm gonna do there's this product bolster and i think if i can get all the bits to fit in here i'm just gonna put all the bits in this thing this was, I just got this idea. I'm going to see if it works out. Like all those little small bits. I'm going to see if they can fit in here. And then this will be a, a great solution for all those bits. So we'll leave that up there. Um, found my uh, Vim. Focus. Vim 3 8 drive. Ratchet. I really like this thing. I just wish the handles were slightly bigger. I don't know. Kind of cheap out on the handle. But they also got the, the quarter inch and the half inch. Half inch again. I don't know, half inch was pretty bulky, but definitely good length on it. Um, see, I just got a lot of stuff up here. See. I uh, got Mueller cabs, no, Autel, uh, what else? Astro, uh, Denfix, Mayhew, Lyle. Hmm. I'm trying to see what else brand I can see. I don't know. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I mentioned Tecton. Here's a cool set that I like 3H drive, standard long. Got the cardboard in here, but all these bits. I mean, you got your T's in here, your SAE stuff, whatever. Um, hex, lots of torques and stuff. I really like this set. So, great use of the case. Um, so we'll go around my race ramp. These are the the two piece, the long ones, and then below that is my quit jack, the five thousand pound model. Some wipes. These are slightly grittier. Some Milwaukee flashlights, Astro coolant. We got some areas, Vim, Duralas. I think this might be the first set of sockets I ever bought. Um, I believe that's gear wrench, Craftsman buffer. Yeah, just a lot of stuff. DeWalt, OTC, Vim, Gray Pneumatic, Tecton, Mighty Vac, uh, OTC, Easy Red, Motive, Calvan. Uh, I'm trying to read that thing. Motard, Mo Motorad of America. Um, what else? Astro, Sonics, just a lot of tools. It definitely looks, it's definitely messy. It's, this is not even, this is not even hiding it. This is definitely messy, but I had to get them out. Uh, these uh, cardboard boxes from the time I moved, just so I can, honestly, this started because I was trying to find um, something else in storage. And I just started finding tools and I just started, I was like, all right, I'm just going to get all the tools out. So this garage is completely unusable right now, but at least gives, it gives me a chance to kind of put stuff away, see what I have. Um, so I don't end up buying stuff. And on that note of buying stuff, I do have, let's say 99% of what I would want as a DIY. Again, I am not a professional. This is, this is a, I'm a complete DIYer. Um, I do believe in being able to fix your car and being able to work on your house from a DIY perspective because those are usually the two most expensive things the average person is going to own in their lifetime. So 
Um, that's why I've invested in tools. Um, I don't know everything, but I will, I will learn if I have to. Um, all the fluids that I have, typically if I buy fluids, I just buy in sets of twos, so I don't have to, you know, go back to the dealership or something. I can just wake up and do stuff, you know, on my own time. Uh, my kid is out there screaming. Well, both of them. Uh, some Vim. Screwdrivers. Um, filters and books. Those are towels for the backsplash jacks. Gotta have a fire extinguisher. Gun fix. Yeah, so it's definitely messy. Um, looking forward to getting this stuff cleaned up. It was good seeing some of these tools again. Um, definitely a lot of stuff. Again, this is what professionals would have. Or you, you know, the average person would say, well, you need this. The shop should buy this type of service tool because it's not for the average mechanic. Again, I'm not the average mechanic, so I don't necessarily fall in that category. Um, let's see. This thing kind of filled up. So bolster the brand the bronic I'm trying to fix uh, with my whatever Milwaukee here I got the sockets on there more stuff gear wrench that was a Home Depot Christmas special um, sockets 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 that's a steelman set over there half inch drive got the motive quarter inch here but yeah, this thing filled up pretty quick. Then I found all my super long wrenches. You got Easy Red, Mountain, um, the spline drive ones. Mind you, these are slightly different. This Easy Reds and the Mountains are different. And then you got the 17 piece gear wrench back here. And then you got the gear wrench um, 120 XP. Pretty much the same thing. You got LTI, I wanna say, punches. Um, Williams stubbies, some uh, Vim thin wrenches. This is Astro. Those are the same pretty much. JTC and Genius. Um, some offset stuff. So, really looking forward to getting the stuff organized. Um, getting it looking. Looking pretty spiffy in here. Um, I do like this though. Um, kind of takes up a lot of space, but um, that's the majority of the wrenches that I'll ever need unless I need some stubbier stuff, more specialized stuff. But yeah, um, see how I reattacked with this. What else is down here? I've had to tighten the, the lashes on these drawers because my youngest, he keeps coming and he wants to pull them all out and that's just dangerous, so. Uh, this is pretty much the same. Um, way more than I'll ever need. Um, pliers, this is not even all my pliers. This is just the ones I took out from where I took them out. I just kind of threw them in here. Um, so I'm probably gonna go through and pick out what I want and I do have a shed. Like I said, um, I do believe in like owning stuff for automotive and for household use. So I do have some stuff for that. Um, these uh, these Swiss, or not Swiss, but Nipix. They're pretty nice. I was trying to adjust the, the pressure regulator on the house um, and the thing would not turn and I believe it was this bad boy here that I used um, and I got it going so we're good and then these Bacos so you have a one is a comfort grip and one is just a standard handle and it's the same for this one this uh standard one and then a comfort grip one back here and you got the small one back out here um, vampire Milwaukee yeah uh, the stuff is not cheap um so when you see people buying tools and they're showing off tools every week they're spending some money um the stuff is not cheap effectively what would be electro electrical diagnostic 
Um, finally found my my ear ear chucks. Um, yeah, just kind of threw some stuff in here. Plastic welding, whatever. Uh, OTC fuel injector tester. Some um, some pickup tools. I got quite a few pickup tools. And then hammers. I got two of those SK. I got those SKs honestly because they were green. Um, yeah. Uh, maybe I, I like greenish in color. These are some large wrenches. Um, yeah. I certainly don't need this many hammers. Some guy said he watched my videos and he chuckled when he said when I said I don't need that many stuff. Well, there you go. Round two of chuckling, but um, certainly, like, I picked up this one the other day, and this thing is so, I don't know if it's appropriate to say on balance, but if you had to use this thing for a while, damn, sucks to be you. Uh, but there's that. If I ever have to bash something, then I got enough uh, hammers to do that. That's a pretty nice sledge, though. Uh, it's what an eight pound with a pretty short industrial type handle. Um, this wrench right here, not a wrench, but I'm trying, I'm trying to remember the name of that thing. Extension bar, no breaker bar. There you go. Half inch with a, a three or sorry, it's a three eighths, three quarter to half inch adapter on it. And then down here, it's pretty much the same. So, some drivers in there, some OEM larger wrenches. I'm gonna take out these uh, seal driver kits out of here. This is definitely not the appropriate drawer for that. I got a hub puller, not a hub, but a drum puller, I guess. Um, what else? So this is definitely not how this is gonna be. That's just a placeholder. This uh, is definitely not going to be a junk drawer. This is just where I've thrown manuals and stuff. I keep all the manuals I have because um, you just never know what you don't know. Miscellaneous bits and bobs that I've thrown in here. I've shown this tool from Step before, how you heat up um, bearing races. You put that up there. You put that on there and you just kind of spin it while you heat it up. Um, That's pretty cool. Um, punches. A Hugh Baron race set. I've watched this price on this thing for the longest time. And um, it finally went down. So I got it. Miscellaneous bibs and bobs. Lance Biz and Bob's. Uh, these weren't in here before, but now they are. Um, Vessel. I'd say Vessel is probably one of my favorite screwdriver brand out there. Um, yeah. Are these round, I believe these are the ratchet in ones. These are the ratchet and handle screwdrivers. Pretty sweet. Full set. What is this? Um, power probe. And then this is just miscellaneous stuff I need to clean out. Welding clamps and and whatever. I showed this before. This is pretty cool. This is how you store your your butane or your math gas. Sorry, map gas, that that thing. Um, I can't even get over there. I got stuff in the way. Anyway, some people are gonna say, "Damn, dude, why you have so many things?" Well, um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, did not ask anyone for it. Um, 
I don't owe anyone for it. Uh, what else? I don't apologize for it, but I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for the opportunity to have all the stuff that I have and be able to do what I do. What else? Boxes, I gotta take this to the shed. Um, clean up all this stuff. Finish the garage, paint the garage. So this is a step in the right direction for me. I got a, quite a few stuff I need to do on my um, Acura and my Tacoma. Particularly my Tacoma has a, um, a Bang 2 a sensor that's out. So a knock sensor, bank two, that's kind of acting up. So that's kind of why I need to start finding the tools I need so I can kind of deep dive into that uh, engine bay and get that stuff situated. And then I got some suspension work I want to do on both of them. Um, so some suspension pieces are going bad. Uh, man, I can't get over how this thing looks like. It's just, it's just messy, but yeah, anyway, it's Sunday. Got to go do Sunday, Sunday things. Um, so anyway, like me, I always say, like on, don't hit a team.